here's the scene. You've got a new HT, you've got a manual, you've got a whole bunch of other manuals that you need to download online. You have YouTube and everything and you still can't program your HT. Let me show you how to use AI so you can bring all these resources together to get the info you need really fast. I just got an FT5D HT radio and it's really cool, but it's also in Yesu's way of going about things quite complex. The manuals do not necessarily help you all that much. I've come up with a solution and it's using AI. This is using Notebook LM and everything that it gets or all the information it gets is only from the information that you feed it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search up the FT5D. We'll do manual and then PDF. Yesu, good or bad, has taken this and they've broken it down into a bunch of files. We've got one for APRS, we've got the standard one, we've got the digital one, the wires X. So there's a bunch of different manuals and you're gonna find the one manual will end up referencing the other. Trying to figure out a key press once was is that it told me to go to page eight on something. And page eight told me I needed to go to page 16, which then told me to go to page six. I was jumping around, it was a pain in the butt. What you need to do is you go to notebooklm.google.com. If you don't do Gmail, you're gonna need to get one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new notebook. We're gonna upload the sources. One thing that's really cool too is that if you're having some problems and need a more of a walkthrough, and you find a YouTube video on that, is you can place a YouTube link by adding a source. And then we're gonna say FT5D programming a channel. And now we have how to program a memory channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna say share, and I'm gonna copy that link. What's really cool is, is that you can do a website or YouTube and find all the resources that you want to pull for a lot of your questions. Let's just find out something general. What is the GM function? And right here, you've got something that gives you the GM function, what it does, what you need to know about it, but it also has these links where you can go to the PDF to the specific area of the document that refers to what it is talking about. And this is, for me, a game changer. I was having some problems dealing with APRS and trying to set it up. How do I set up APRS? Is it gonna be perfect? No. But is it going to get me to the end goal way faster? Absolutely yes, because it's going to show me which manual I need to be looking at, what paragraph, what page, and where to start, and, and maybe even put it in an order that I need it to be. So in this case, it starts walking us through an initial APRS settings, making sure that you have your call sign and everything in there, and where to do that then enabling then disabling the gps function whether you want it to track you or not or if you're going to put in your grid square or if you're going to put in geo coordinates and if you hover over a section it will give you the synopsis or the text that it's pulled everything from as i was getting my advanced license notebook lm came out and what i ended up doing was i started taking some of the online resources the books and the pdfs and i placed it into notebook lm and then i started studying based off of that so if somebody was talking about a fet what is a fet how do i identify it what are the pins but what i thought was really cool is like in the u.s canada has a set number of questions a database it's all multiple choice so you can take that entire database throw that PDF into here, and then you can have it ask you questions based off of whichever section to help you go through it, and it will tell you whether the answer is correct or not. It's just a matter of start talking to the PDFs or start talking to the website. Is it perfect? No. Is it going to probably give you a wrong answer? Sure, but so will all the Elmers and so will the book. You're still going to find errors, but this is a really speedy way to get yourself into solving some problems, especially with the ASU devices. I absolutely love them, but the menu systems and the manuals are a freaking nightmare. And this is how I deal with it. I forgot to mention one thing. This is something I believe Google is working on, but when you're in Notebook LM and you click on the links to go back to the PDF, it'll bring up the PDF, but only the text. It doesn't bring up any of the images or anything. 
you don't have some of the menus and stuff shown to you, which is a bit of a pain. All things considered, though, it tells you which manual and which page to go to. It's way better than starting out from scratch and trying to figure out what you're looking for. This is Victor Echo 6 here at Foxtrot X-Ray, and I'm clearing this channel.